make another easy chicken dish with a lot of ingredients. Just two chicken legs, cut, separate the thigh from the leg, just make it easy for yourself. They're going to be like stewed into this lovely sauce with all of those ingredients in it. So let's uh, prep the chicken, let's get going, because once you do a little prep, it's really not a big deal. First thing we're going to get out of the way is the chicken. Sometimes I saute everything together, but this time we're going to saute the chicken first. Even though we're using hot sauce, season this with a little salt and pepper, sea salt. And then after we give the chicken a little color, then I'm going to put in there the vegetables. After the vegetables brown up a little bit, then we're going to add the liquid and we're going to flour the chicken you don't have to but it's going to help the sauce out a little bit plus the, the taste always tastes better when you saute with a little flour and if you want to go if you want to go gluten free just use uh, corn flour or cornmeal corn flour would be better or use brown rice flour. So we're going to get some color on this chicken. You can make it boneless, but we're making it the easy way. And we all know that anything cooked on the bone has a nicer flavor. But there are times when you want to use a boneless piece of chicken. For many reasons. This is like, uh, this should be for two people. Now I'm calling this Mediterranean style chicken because some of the ingredients are in those type of recipes. This is just one of hundreds of ways you can make chicken. But I feel that the ingredients that I'm going to use today will work very nicely. So we have a nice high flame because we want to brown this quickly. You can use uh, clarified butter to brown it. If you use regular butter, then it's going to probably burn a little bit. I'm using olive oil. You don't have to use it. You can use whatever you like. I'm going to use peanut oil. But it's not usually done with this type of uh, dish. But if you like peanut oil, and you know what? Whatever you like you use. I'm only showing you a method of putting these things together and have a good result. So this will take a few minutes to brown. No sense in wasting film. It's kind of boring. So in about two minutes I'll turn the camera back on. So now that we have color, just turn the chick over, chicken over. Now what we're going to do is, while this is browning, we're going to take the vegetables and just add the vegetables to this. I was going to take the chicken out, but you know what? This works. Just one less step for you. Now while the chicken is browning, the vegetables are browning. Now the vegetables need seasoning. Remember, everything has to be seasoned. So put a little salt and pepper. This is going to be good. 
Now I'm doing something in this uh, dish which I, I don't know if many people do, but I experimented with it at work when I was uh, playing with a chicken dish similar to this. And I used the juice from the olives into the recipe. And it gave a nice flavor at the end. And I guess that's what we care about. The end result. And there are times when I don't saute the vegetables. Just because I'm not in the mood, even though I know it imparts a greater flavor. But I figure if the vegetables are cooked for a few hours in something, opposed to sauteing and then cooking, whatever flavor's there is what you're going to get. Okay, that didn't make much sense. But this looks good. Pretty, pretty looking chicken. So now we're going to, I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to get complaints if I don't do this the right way. I'm going to put the white wine in now. So it soaks into the chicken, the vegetables a little bit. I'm using, let's see, what does that say? Half a cup. And just remember, these recipes that I make, I've never made this before. I just think of things up, and I go, let's see if I can put this together. Or I see something, or I go, you know what, let me apply that to other items that I have. So a nice dry white wine, not cooking wine, don't be cheap, because it affects the flavor. half a cup for that and uh, a quarter cup oh that's for me thank you mmm very good now I'm gonna put in a couple of bay leaves One teaspoon of dry thyme, and this happens to be an excellent dry thyme. If I use this and I use fresh, you probably couldn't tell the difference. I buy this at a place that specializes in shipping the herbs, and this stuff is always so fresh tasting. As soon as you open up the jar, you, you, you can smell the thyme and a few bay leaves. I should have put the bay leaves and the thyme in there when I start to saute, but sometimes I'm in a rush with these recipes because I have others lined up and not, not much time to do this. So that has reduced enough. Now we're going to add the rest of the liquids and everything else. We're going with the, the olives. Make sure they're a pitted olives you buy. You don't want anybody with broken teeth. The juice from the olive. My tomato basil sauce, or your tomato sauce. And then... Some chicken stock, which I have sitting over here. And the reason why I use the flour is because the chicken stock is going to thin out the sauce and the flour that's on the chicken will then thicken the sauce. So 
So now what are we going to do? So after we did this, looks good, right? Oh, I forgot another item. Where is it? Yes. My capers. Anything else? I'm looking around. Yes, the mushrooms. And the reason why I waited for the mushrooms is because the mushrooms are all water. And if I were to put this in when I sauteed, it would have been very difficult to, to get the coloring I wanted because the water comes out of the mushrooms and it'll make everything wet when I didn't want it to be wet in the beginning. Now it doesn't matter. And everything's going to cook. I want the chicken on this dish to literally, literally fall off the bone. Now, one last thing, the hot sauce. You don't have to do this. But I'm taking this hot sauce and I'm going to squirt it right in there. And that dish is going to have a nice bite to it. And it seems watery now, but it's, we're going to set the timer for 20 minutes. And after about 10 minutes, I'm going to turn the chicken over. That way, whatever flour is on the top part will work its way into the sauce and give it more more thickness. And then when we're done, everything should have just enough sauce and be perfect. And now we lower this to a simmer and of course you have to cover it. Now when I come back in 20 minutes and the chicken is cooked and there's too much liquid, no problem. Take the chicken out, reduce everything to the correct amount that we need to cover the chicken on a plate. Simple. That didn't take too long. You can cut the vegetables the day ahead. See you in 19 minutes. Okay, well it's been 20 minutes. And let's just check the chicken. I did turn it after 10. And we're going to go another 10 minutes because I want it falling off the bone. Well, another 10 minutes has passed. And let's look at that chicken. So first we sauteed it a little. Then after putting it into... Oh, that feels good. That's nice. So it's a half hour. Now, if you were making like, say, pasta with this, I would leave the sauce as it is. And if you're not making pasta, We're going to reduce it so we get some body. Because looking at the sauce, it's okay, but it's just a little bit, see how it drizzles off? A little bit too thin, and it's quite a bit. So raise the flame. This does not take long. This will just take a few minutes. High flame. Remember use a thick sauce pot like this. This is like Cafalon. Nothing ever burns or sticks in there. Don't use those thin tinny pots. So we'll let this reduce. Now while this is reducing, we could have taken the skin off the chicken also. Floured, seasoned it, floured it, and sauteed it. I'm not looking to get away from the fat content and the flavor that it imparts into this sauce it helps it but you can eliminate the skin from the chicken and I've ta I just tasted this 
it is really good. One or two more minutes and I'm done because as you see already just about there. This would be perfect over pasta the way it is right now. So after it's reduced to this consistency then you can put the chicken back in there to warm it up. And just take the sauce. Which there is plenty of and the vegetables. I always like a lot of vegetables in the sauce. That is absolutely plenty. And then we can uh, finish it off with a little uh, fresh chopped parsley for color. Really not for taste unless it was uh, parsley all around the plate and there you go my style of a Mediterranean chicken dish of which there are hundreds of ways to do this enjoy